वेलकम बैक गाइज दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ आवर एंटायर प्ले लिस्ट एंड द लास्ट वीडियो फिर रिमेंबर वी प्लेसड सम बाय एंड सेल ऑर्डर्स एंड द ऑर्डर्स फॉर प्लेस सक्सेसफुली एंड नाउ अ कपल ऑफ थिंग्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स हाउ टू ट्रैक द ऑर्डर सो वी नीड टू सी हाउ टू गेट द ट्रेड बुक राइट द सेकेंड इज हाउ टू प्लेस स्टॉप लॉस ऑर्डर्स राइट बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स वी रिक्वायर सम स्टॉप लॉस एज वेल in order to uh, cover our order right that's why it's called as stop loss order or covered order sometimes called as co right the uh, if we include target price as well so for example there, this is the price of the uh, of the share there's a stop loss right and there's a target price there's a bracket which is known as bracket order or bo <clears throat> and this is exactly the terminology that i will going to uh, uh, i'll be using is a co and bo again i'll repeat co is for covered order which is stop loss bo is for bracket order which is stop loss and target price <clears throat> but before that let's see uh, let's extract our trade book uh, which will have information of all the trades that we have executed <clears throat> so in the orders uh, 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 button here over here um, you can just scroll down a bit or let me just do control f search it and i'll see than dot get trade book right there's no input required in this one so i'll just copy it by clicking on this button i'll go back to the python code that we have i'll paste it over here and shift enter which is running this particular cell i'll get the entire trade book in front of uh, um, us yes you can see this is the entire trade book now it's into json format we'll have to convert it into a tabular or a data frame format in order to analyze it right so i can see let me just give a, a parameter here is say trade book is equal to this one right it's a dictionary so i'll just uh, go here and let me just go back go to a new cell so if i run this trade book <coughs> i'll get this dictionary if i just write keys i'll see what are the different keys of this uh, dictionary and uh, status uh, remarks and data I, i think we just need data here so i'll just write data right so this is the uh, i think in after running this we'll get a list definitely we have got a list now we'll have to convert it into a tabular format and yes you guys are right we'll have to use pandas library which is one of the most useful libraries in the financial world just for your reference pandas and numpy are the most important libraries that you should have a very i would say grip on and so i'll just import pandas as pd here right and then pd dot data frame and then i'll uh, provide the entire thing in as an input in this particular function right so let me just write trade book data frame df is equal to this one run this cell if i copy and paste this one we should get a tabular format uh trade book which is in front of you <clears throat> these are the trades that i have placed uh um uh, in actually last few minutes and these are some trades that i actually tested uh, in the morning so you can see all buy and sell of different types of intraday and co co is the order that i'm going to place again in this video uh, i have placed only spice jet uh shares trades uh, today so we can see it in front of you and uh, these are the information of the trade book so which this particular thing is very important because it will help you track all the different trades that you have placed either it's buy or sell it's a market order limit order co bo etc everything will be in this particular data frame which you can consider all the time for any sort of analysis that you'll do now let's come to the most important part of this video which is placing a stop loss order along with the main order right so we'll be using Yes you're right CO which is covered order in this case I'll come back to the um, to the documentation of then I'm on the order side only let's just go back to the place order which is control A F F control F and place order you'll see the first function which is then dot place order and data right so this is the entire thing I'll again copy this and paste it here right now let's go through the different types of things that we'll have to provide let's buy it you know right uh, and uh, uh, the product type would be co which is covered order in this case if you remember in the last video i used intra for intra uh, day trade 
In this case, I'm going to use CO. I'll have to provide trigger price here in this case because trigger price is basically the price on which the stop loss order will be triggered and then you will exit that particular uh, position, right? So uh, let's go back here and let's change all these things accordingly. So I have deleted other um, parameters that are not required in this particular case. I have just kept the, all the uh, inputs that we need to provide in this case. So uh, transaction type is equal to dhan dot buy. Let's place a buy order only. Uh, I'm using the same exchange which is NAC, National Stock Exchange. In this case, it's not dhan dot intra. In this case, it's dhan dot co which is covered order. Uh, again, I'm just placing a market order. Validity is day uh, security uh, id is again the same one which is spice jet in this example quantity is one uh, price is zero but yeah in this case we'll have to provide another another thing which is trigger price right and we'll have to provide the price on which the stop loss will be triggered spice jet is currently trading at somewhere around 30 so let's provide 27 as the stop loss uh, range if i play if i run this particular cell it will place a covered order which is it will place both the main order and along with that order there will be a stop loss limit order that will be placed how to check it if i just uh, run this particular cell which is done dot get order list i'll get the entire order list of uh, the transactions that i have done so you'll see this is the order that we have generated which is a market order spice jet right now this one is traded at 29.95 i bought this share on uh, at a price of 29.95 now there has to be a covered order as well which is a stop loss order as well if you scroll down a bit you'll see a covered order which is this again co and this trigger price in this case is 27 so whenever it hits 27 this order will automatically be sold uh, and I will exit this position. That's why it is very, very important for us to have a stop loss order. If you are not uh, a trader or uh, if you are not a professional, there it is always recommended to provide a stop loss order. Now, similar to that, if you, if you come back to the documentation, if you want to place a bracket order. So in this case, uh, we'll have to provide both BO profit value and BO stop loss value. And by saying this, I mean, you'll have to provide the absolute value. So, for example, if you are placing an order of SpiceJet at say 30 rupees, then in that case, uh, uh, if you want to place uh, the uh, stop loss range at 27, you'll have to write 3.0. And if the target price is say 33, you'll again have to write 3.0 in the profit value over here. And you don't need to provide trigger price. And if you run that particular cell, it will generate the B order. It will actually place the main order with two limit orders on stop loss and target price now if on the right hand side if you see order slicing now what is it so basically uh, if you are trading options for example <clears throat> there is a limit of number of lots that you can trade uh, in a single uh, in a single trade for example if you're placing a nifty options trade then in that case the limit is 36 lots you cannot place more than 36 lots in just one trade and for example, if you are placing 50 uh, lots trade, it will throw an error. So in order to solve this problem, at then what we have done here is it will slice down that particular order. For example, if you are placing 50 uh, as the number of lots, then in that case, it will trigger first 36 lots in the beginning and then the remaining 14 in the end. For example, if you are trading say 100 lots, right? So it will place three different orders, 36, 36 which is 72 and then 28 remaining will be the third one so you don't need to do it manually everything will be done automatically on the dhans platform and that's why this order slicing is very very essential for options trading so yes guys that's it for this video in the next video we'll be talking about positions portfolio edis authorization automation and the fund limits functions uh, that are also available in the dhans api Okay, thank you so much for watching this video till the end and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Investments in the securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.